uh, below list the properties that might characterize a particular star in our night sky. Choose all properties that can be determined in general without knowing its distance. Okay, so it's definitely not going to be luminosity. I think uh, I uh, spent a fair amount of time emphasizing that that um, that that how bright a star appears to us it depends on luminosity and the distance. So without knowing the distance you can't really figure out the luminosity, except in a few exceptional cases like variable stars. But in general, no, not luminosity. So apparent brightness, well, that's how it appears. So <laughs> you don't really need anything else. You just need a good uh, light sensor. That's all you need. And um, temperature is something you can figure out from the HR diagram. And in fact, uh, in the HR diagram, the the horizontal axis part, that's the temperature, and that just comes from the spectral class, the absorption spectra. So the, the temperature, the surface temperature of the star, you can just figure it out by looking at the star. And radial velocity, it's the one that I think we didn't quite spend a lot of time on. Um, I wonder if, uh, oh, I think in section, Oh, yeah, that's why I'm linking you to chapter 17. Um, so if you look back at chapter 17, then it'll tell you something about how spectrum of stars, either it is, I think it might be 17.4. This is technically not a section we are covering, but, <laughs> um, but it does have this thing about yeah, radial velocity and the Doppler shift. So, um, so uh, th through measurement of uh, something called the Doppler shift, which we're not really covering yet, um, you, you can figure out the radial velocity of a star. Now, if you want the, I think here, uh, they do mention yeah, proper motion. So if you want to figure out how the star is moving transverse wise, that you actually need to know the distance, but um, radial velocity, you don't need the distance. So yeah, yeah, not in certain circles, yeah. yeah. 